You had John Brumby on, and I've had John Brumby yeah, on. Yeah, well, when he was on, I was interested to see whether, you know, it, it would come up. It actually took me back to when he was on. He was uh, only treasurer at the time. Yeah. So, oh, now you've got him. Oh, he's Mr. Important Man. But I tried to get him to catch minties in his mouth. And uh, he was just struggling. And then, and I felt so bad for him. I said, oh, well, look, you know, so, so you don't feel too stupid trying this. I'll do, I'll do it at the same time. Yeah. And I got mine first time, and it just made it all the worse for him. <laughs> but all these years later, look at him. He's done well, and he's come back, and, you know, you didn't make him do anything foolish, which was good. No, we didn't have, It was well, a good, well, interesting interview. When he actually came here, he had a federal police officer that came in and kind of went, check the place. Oh, he's sold out, and, man. And I said... <laughs> None of that when I, he was here. When I, I said, to be honest with you, if we've got a terrorist in here, I'd feel like it's a compliment because I would feel I'd fly under the radar of Al Qaeda, to be honest with hey, you. That's a good point. <laughs> Wouldn't that be really cool if, like, you were part of like a major terrorist threat? Yeah. And like, you get shut down, you'd be like, awesome. Like, how would that? I, it's I, like you go, we're totally important. Yeah. Like, Osama just comes up and goes, okay, you found me. 